Hey everyone. Okay, so yesterday was Value Village half off sale day and I only go to Value Villages on the days that are 50% off because I think their prices are ridiculous now. They've gone so far up. Um, so much more expensive than they used to be. Okay, so here's what I got from, I went to four. Here's what I got from the first one, which is in my town. Okay, so the first thing I bought was the shirt I'm actually wearing right now. Um, it's this really, really gorgeous um, button-up blouse. I love the bow detailing at the top. Um, I didn't like the sleeves. They just have frills right here. But I always wear sleeves rolled up anyways, so it doesn't matter. Um, and this was $4. Okay, the next thing I bought was this really cute black and white pattern skirt. Um, it was $4 as well, and it still has the original price tags on it, and it was $30. And it's from the brand um, Majora, and I definitely recognize that brand name, um, but I can't think what store sells it. The next thing I bought was this really nice, um, just open, probably not wool, it's probably acrylic, um, but just really comfy sweater, like really cozy. And it's um, from Joe Fresh, the brand, and it's uh, originally $8, I got it for 4 um, but I actually find a lot of stuff that's the brand Joe Fresh when I'm thrifting, and I, I always really like this stuff, and they just sell it at, like, Real Canadian Superstore, which is kind of strange to have such nice clothes at a grocery store, but I like them. The next thing I bought was this black and white, um, vertical striped button-up shirt, and it's oversized, um, it's a little long, so I'll probably wear it with, um, I don't know, leggings, or I'll tuck it in or something. And I got that for $4. I got this bag. Um, it wasn't part of the sale because it's in the luggage section of the store, which I always go for to find, like, tote bags and things like that. Um, but it was only $4. And I already have this exact bag in a bigger version in this color and also in gray. I just really like the shape of this bag, and it's, like, really sturdy. So if I'm carrying around camera equipment even, um, I use these kind of bags and like books and they're really spacious. So I got, I just got that for $4. The next thing I got was this cute little, um, it's, it look, it's just a cute little skirt, um, just gray and white. But I really liked it because it has these like reindeer details all along the top, if you can see it. So I thought it was really good for like the holidays and I got that for $4. And then I got this, and I actually found this in, like, the pajama section, which is, like, kind of weird, because I don't, I don't even look in that section usually, um, because I don't like to buy pajamas used. Um, but I think it's, like, like, I don't think it's a nightgown, but it's, like, kind of sheer, so I'd have to wear, like, a bodycon dress under it. Um, but I got it for $3, but it just got, like, this, these, a really nice pattern on it, so, um, just with a belt, like, I don't care, I'll wear it. And then I got this, this pink oversized sweater. I got it in the men's section actually, but it's like a really gorgeous shade of pink. Um, and it's really cozy, and I have so many pink pullover sweaters like this, but I don't have one in this color. Um, I got it for $3. And that's why I should always look in the men's section at thrift stores, because you can find a ton of great stuff there. Um, and then I got this uh, maroon kind of burgundy sheer button-up shirt that's like oversized as well it's like long um and that was that was three dollars I just really love burgundy and mustard yellow are my favorite colors um to wear for myself so anything in the in those shades I always buy I tend to buy the next thing I bought was this um kind of coral not I'm not sure if it's coral um just a button-up blouse it's um it's just a thicker material than the blouses I usually wear, so it could be warmer, and also I don't need to wear anything under it, um, which some of my blouses I do because they are so sheer. And that was $4. There's like nice pocket details and everything. It's very soft. I guess the last thing I bought from the Valley Village in my town was this. Um, just like a, um, a pullover blouse. Oh, this sleeve is tucked in. Just black and white. Um, just black stripe detailing um, at the back there's a button to do up around your neck and this was three dollars so I bought a lot of pink things from there the next Valley Village I went to was about 40 minutes from my town um, and I got this nice white 
um, peasant blouse, I want to call it. Um, just like really airy, really comfortable. It's, I got that for $4. There's nice detailing around the collar and everything. It's button up. Then I just got this skirt. It's kind of like a wraparound skirt, but the pattern is really, really cute on it. Um, and I got this for $3. Then I got, uh, this nice, really, uh, woolly scarf. It's not wool. It's acrylic. Um, but it's just nice. Like, it's cozy. And that was, that was one fifty. And I already have a scarf, basically exactly like that. Oh, you can probably see it right here. But this one is just, um, thinner. This one's a little thicker. So, bought that. Also from that Valley Village, I got, um, just this elasticized skirt. Um, I really like skirts like this that have the elasticized and then they just flow out. I just think they sit really nicely on my body. Um, this was $3 and it's kind of worn in. Like stuff like this that's really, that, that is worn in, I don't think should be charged uh, like even $6 regularly. I don't think it's worth that money at all. I got this necklace. Um, and I learned that their jewelry and like accessories, stuff like that, if it wasn't marked by, um, bed and bath, it wasn't half off. So I paid full price for this, which was $5. Um, but it's just like gold, like, I don't know, like, um, it just makes it look like you're, you're wearing more than you actually are. I don't know what is going on. I was going to put it on, but I can't figure out how this goes. Anyways, I got that. So that's just cute. Um... Oh, and at last I got these really cute um, nude pumps, which fit me perfectly. Um, originally $25, so I got them for $12.50. Um, yeah, they're just nice. They have the open toe, peep toe. Um, and they, I just, I really needed a pair of nude pumps anyways, so um, I was happy to find those. And I found these other really great shoes when I was there. And if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, then you know what they look like. Like, they were gorgeous. They were, like, these booties that had lace covered on them. Um, but they were size 8.5, and I'm, like, a size 11. And I was, like, trying to stick my feet in them, um, but they wouldn't fit. Uh, so I was very upset about that. Um, okay, and the next store I went to was, like, just another 10 minutes away from that one. So the next store I got this. Um... Just this cute floral button up. Um, it's a really pretty pattern. It's kind of sheer, like it's very light. I'll probably wear it more in spring. And I got that, excuse me, for $3. And like I said before, um, uh, burgundy and mustard yellow are my favorite colors to wear. So I saw this oversized um, mustard yellow, kind of like this knit jumper. It's short sleeve though. <coughs> Or three quarter length sleeves. Um, so yeah, that was cute. Um, three dollars. I'll probably just wear it like with something high waisted because I don't think it's long enough to be worn um, with tights. Next thing I bought, I don't even remember what I bought. Oh, I love this. I forgot I got this. It's this corduroy zip up dress. And it's so cute. It has like little pockets right here. I don't know why. It reminds me of like something like a new mom would wear like playing with their kids. I don't know why. Maybe that's why I like it so much. But it just zip up. Um, not all the way down. But pretty far down. So that was. That was $4. Next thing I got was. Just this denim vest. It's a crop denim vest. And I I already have so many denim vests, but because of my chest, like they always look like they're way too small on me because they don't go around at all. And this one didn't go around all the way either, but it went around more than the ones I have. So people are always like, Are you wearing a children's vest? No, I just have big tits. Um but this one was three dollars. The next thing I bought were um these men's combat boots. Um they're cool. They have just like zip ups, so you don't have to take the time to do up all the laces. And I do already have black Doc Martens, but um, I bought the Doc Martens thrifted, so they already had. They were very worn in. They already had someone's um, molding to their feet on the bottom, and they were really uncomfortable for me. Like I couldn't wear them for more than 
probably like 45 minutes before my feet were like aching and these ones actually have they're like soft on the inside like fuzzy um but they're, they're in really good condition like they're barely worn so i'm hoping um the uh, input of someone else's foot isn't too bad in here. Um, okay, and the last five village I went to was only like 15 minutes away from the next one, or the last one, um, and I got, okay, this is my favorite thing I bought from that one for sure. Um, it's this really gorgeous um, crushed velvet um, burgundy color, burgundy color velvet. Um, oh my gosh, it fits my body. I don't know why velvet looks like it really flatters um my figure um if I do say so myself um but it, it like I think it looks like it fits nicely it doesn't like hug too tightly you know what I mean like it just fits right um so I really really like this um the detailed shoulders are really cool they like kind of stick up right here but I like it because it gives a little more detail um like see how it just goes in like that like that's what I need um it's long sleeves um I got that for um, $7.50, so it's very nice. I love this dress. And then I got this skirt, um, with really, really gorgeous, um, detailing on the front, like, beaded. It's like, uh, it just looks really nice. Like, it, uh, I like the way it reflects the light and everything. Um, I got this for $3, and it's that same brand as that black and white skirt I bought, um, Majora. So I don't, I really need to find out where they sell that. It's probably somewhere cheap like um I don't even know probably like Walmart or something I have no idea um but I like that um next thing I got was this really like bright cute three-quarter length striped shirt and I like the detailing on the back it just has like a zipper just um below your neck and this was 350 and they had a bunch of these um like they had a lot of the same shirt so I like I think sometimes if stores don't sell a lot of one shirt they just want to get rid of it it's not selling they just like probably give it to Value Village maybe because it looks like like there is a tag cut off and it kind of looks like um an H&M tag so and I, and I was gonna buy a shirt like this at H&M um, a while ago but I just thought it'd be cute like I'll wear this with like mint pants or something you know what I mean um pastels like well it's not really pastel it'll just look nice with the the mint pants Oh my gosh, the next thing I bought, <laughs> like, I just had to get it. It's this bat winged rain poncho, but it is so colorful and, like, just so bright in the hood and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I want to go, like, play in the rain now. It's really, really colorful. Um, this was $3.50. And it has, like, just a Velcro pocket at the front. So just keep whatever you want in there. Oh, there's a tag. Uh, Desigual. Desigual um, is the brand. Oh, yeah, it's like the name brand right there. But it's just, like, really, really fun. I have so many, like, vintage rain jackets because I just love the neon colors, and I never wear them because I don't really play in the rain. Um, but now I should. Um... Next thing I bought was, I, okay, I have, everyone, whenever I wear, like, old men's sweaters, like, that's just how I dress. People are always like, oh, ugly sweater season, yeah, and I'm like, no, this is just how I dress. I don't actually own any ugly Christmas sweaters, per se. Um, so when I saw this one, I liked the green. Um, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy one. So then, like, at work, um, when they have, like, ugly Christmas sweater day, uh, and I had nothing to wear last year, um, now if I was working, which I'm not, um, anyways, not gonna worry about that details. Um, anyways, this is just an ugly sweater I can wear. It just has, uh, like, little teddy bears and, I don't know, it just reminds me of, like, a mom. Like, a mom taking their kid to kindergarten or something and, like, a holiday party. I don't know. Um, so this next shirt, I was kind of undecided if I should get it or not. Um, I just have so many blouses I buy and I buy and I buy and I never wear them like I kind of stick to like my favorites what I'm trying not to do now I'm trying to like expand more because I have so many clothes um like I hate getting stuck in like saying the same outfits you know what I mean um so I, I ended up just buying this I was like whatever um it was 350 it's just this like kind of checkered oversized um blue and black shirt. I, the only thing I really like liked about it was it had a kind of unique um, collar.
collar like it just has the buttons on the back you just do the buttons up and it just sort of like hangs like it's on a turtleneck because I do like the look of turtlenecks but I always find they're just too tight on my neck like I'm not comfortable like this so this is kind of like that same effect except it's not like choking me so um yeah I get that I, I just got that um the last thing it's looking like I bought I don't think I have any more bags I guess the last thing I bought was this this really weird monkey shirt I just like I always like to look in the men's graphic tees hoping to find band t-shirts um but I didn't see any yesterday actually um so I just got this for two dollars and it's really like you know when you buy or like t-shirts get old they get like gross feeling like they're not soft so I'm gonna do like this treatment um so you can get your shirts feeling like soft because I hate I hate this feeling it's very uncomfortable um but yeah just as a monkey and it says ale razor like hell razor I guess um uh, one last thing I forgot to show you guys um, was this really pretty um, blue bowler style hat. Um, I'm really into hats lately. Um, and this actually still had its original tags on. It's from H&M. It was originally $15, like the tag's still in there and everything. And I and then they had it at Value Village for 8 so I got it for 4 um, I was actually just going to go to Value Village yesterday to look for, or not in Value Village, I was going to go to H&M yesterday to look for um, a hat actually just like this. Um, so I was really, really lucky to find this one. It was a really great find. Um, so yeah, that was my Value Village uh, thrift haul. I definitely took advantage of it because I do only shop there on half off days. And um, there is a lot of good stuff there. They do have a lot of nice things. They're just very overpriced in my opinion. So if next time there is a 50% off, sh uh, 50 off sale, I definitely recommend um, going and checking it out. What I always do, um, I shouldn't tell this, um, but for my town, I go in the night before and I... Uh, like about two hours before close and I load up my cart with stuff I want to try on and there's you know very few people in the store it's like a Sunday night and um, I try on everything so I know what I'm gonna get the next morning and then I um I just put everything back where it goes and I take a picture on my phone of where it was like I put like if I have five things there five pictures um, five things take a picture um, and then the next morning when I come in at 7 a.m. and there's tons and tons of people all waiting in line for the change rooms, um, I'm just able to, uh, grab my stuff and I'm in and out of there in, like, 15 minutes. Um, so, that's my little secret. Uh, so, yeah, just do that if you want to save time, because it's so hectic. They are so busy at Valley Villages the next day. But, um, yeah, so this is probably a really long video, and I'm just gonna stop there, but, uh, hope you guys liked it.